percussion in a symphony orchestra can pose some unique challenges, but it can also be very rewarding. Although the primary role of percussion instruments is to add rhythmic drive and color, it can also be called upon to lend drama, weight, texture, and on some occasions, melody. Percussionists are almost always the first ones to arrive at rehearsal. As a percussionist, you could be responsible for this or this. Setting up all those instruments requires extra time. And while many instrumentalists can pack up quickly after a concert, the percussionists are frequently the last to leave the stage. But before we even get to rehearsal, there's a lot of prep to be done. Principal percussionists get their music in advance so that they can make assignments. Individual players need to not only learn the notes, but how to move from instrument to instrument with ninja-like stealth and without getting lost. Timpanists need to map out when to make pitch changes and which drum's notes will be tuned on. In modern works, this can be particularly challenging. Choosing mallets or implements is another thing that must be done. Unless specified by the composer, it's up to individual players to decide which stick will yield a timbre best suited to a given passage. Once we get to rehearsal, we all understand the importance of following the conductor. However, there are times when the conductor is preoccupied with things other than our entrances. In this case, we look to the concertmaster to ensure good ensemble. This simple gesture is perfectly clear to other string players who are accustomed to playing chamber music. To many percussionists, it can be downright baffling. Also, many of our instruments speak quickly, which makes timing very tricky. Let's see if I can place this note with Yuri. Of course, listening to our colleagues on stage and spending lots of time practicing with a metronome are crucial. These have just been a few examples of what it's like to be an orchestral percussionist. Thanks for watching.